Okay, today we're going to be starting a new case study for web page design and we're going to be um, starting a site from scratch and then working forward, um, hopefully adding things along the way so that you know you could start with the basics and then work slowly up into a professional web page. I'm going to start with a coffee house web page. That's typically what every web page design book I've started with starts with for some reason. So I figure I'll just follow the pattern first thing we want to do is we want to create a folder for our new website so I'm going to go ahead and go new folder and I'm going to call it whatever I name my website but I'm going to do it without spaces I'm just going to call this one cup du jour and that'll be the name of my coffee house alright so I'm going to open this up and inside this folder is where I will be placing my documents so for example I'm going to create a new text document and I'm going to call this one index.html. That will be my main page. Alright, now if I just double click this, it's going to open it in an Internet Explorer as you can see here. It changed its icon. Um, and it should be opening. Alright. Um, however, I don't want to just open an Internet Explorer. I want to be able to edit it. So I'm going to right click on it and choose open with notepad. Now right now it's completely empty. So what I want to do is I'm going to start with my basic web page and web pages pretty much always start with HTML and then they end with HTML. And then they start inside the HTML there is a head and then there's an end to the head and then there's a body and then there's an end to the body. <clears throat> just like a person. Alright, so um, inside the head is where we're going to put things like the title and any style sheet code, things like that. Inside the body, this is what will be on the page. So if I put this is my web page and I save this, when I go and view my page over here, I should be able to refresh and that's what's showing up on my page. Now you can see right now it doesn't really have anything exciting. It just says C colon backslash whatever. So if I was to go ahead and add a title to this and put um, cup du jour and then in the title I can save it and then go back and refresh it and down here at the bottom you can see that it's called Cup Du Jour and it says Cup Du Jour up here. Alright, that's what the title does. Alright, it also shows up in indexes and stuff if you have something that, you know, Google or web crawler or something like that searches for your page. Now, the other thing I want to point out is it doesn't really matter how things are laid out here. Um, sometimes I'll tab stuff over a little bit so that I can find it easier. Um, I'll also move my body down a little bit so that I remember where things are. All right, and let me go back and refresh and you can see that nothing has changed. Now, since we have our basic page set up, one of the things that I need to do is add to the top some header information and um, most web pages now have this. I'm just going to paste it in because I don't want to type it all. But it basically starts off saying that it, we're using XML or XHTML and you know this is what is transitional in English and this is our DTD and we're setting our HTML header which will include this reference to the page where we're um, building from. Okay, the other thing I might want to think about doing in here, my cup du jour, since it doesn't say anything about it being a coffee house, is I can put, you know, something like coffee house and bakery. Alright, so what happens then is adding that extra information helps this page be searched easier if somebody's searching for coffee house or coffee and bakery or, you know, whatever. And because especially if you've got a word like du jour, um, the odds of somebody knowing how to spell it are a little bit smaller than if you just said cup of coffee. Alright. Okay, so inside the body here, I want to start off with a header tag and h1 will be the largest header and I want to say um, let's see cup du jour and I'm going to end my header alright and then I want to have a navigation area in this paragraph here so I'm going to have home 
and menu and events and jobs okay now the idea being um, this will be a, a navigation so when someone can click on home or they can click on the menu things that we serve they can click on events if somebody's gonna have poetry or if they're gonna do karaoke or whatever <laughs> karaoke coffee house or they can click on jobs all right now I can leave it like this but I wanna also make these things menu choices so I can do a which is anchor href equals home dot htm actually we should do l since we used html for the beginning and then I'll say home alright and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on different lines because putting them on different lines doesn't make a difference it just makes it easier for me to read menu dot html and actually we don't want it to say home but we want it to say index because that's what we named this file here alright so menu and then we want an href, an anchor for events and we want an anchor for jobs okay we in the anchor and in the paragraph alright so if I go ahead and save this now and then go back here and refresh so we have this nice little menu and cup du jour on here okay so I'm gonna go ahead now and add another section here um, and this is also some extra content and I want to do an unordered list so an unordered list is the same as a bulleted list so I'm gonna do begin the unordered list and end the unordered list and I always start and stop those things start and end them so that I don't forget to change to put them in um, and again if I want to you know add some spaces up here to help me keep things organized I can do that I might do the same with my unordered list and then I want to go list item and end list item and I'll put something in here like specialty coffees and teas alright actually let's just say capital coffee and capital T alright and we'll do another list item for let's see um, donuts bagels and more okay and list item um, we're gonna say something like um, music poetry karaoke or maybe we can just say and karaoke and then we want another list item maybe for um, open mic night and then gotta remember to end our list item and end these list items up here as well this is one of the things that I forget to do obviously and it can really cause your page to look funky so I'm gonna go ahead and file save and then jump over here and refresh and so you see I've got the beginning of a website now and jump back over to our code alright so now I want to put our address here so I'm gonna go just a paragraph and again in my paragraph and I will put um, let's say cup du jour and then I'm gonna put a break break like that what that'll do is do a hard break at the end and then I want to put our address one two three four North Main Street and I'll put anywhere California 95123 which is probably an actual zip code but whoops alright and then I can put our phone number as well 1-888-123-4567 alright so if I save this and again jump over and refresh I have my address on here 
Okay, so I'm going to jump down here at the bottom now, and in a paragraph, I'm going to do size small, and then emphasis maybe, and I'll put copyright ampersand copy and then I will put cup du jour and then I will end my emphasis and end my small and end my paragraph and you see I'm going in reverse order emphasis small paragraph alright I will save this and then I'll go over here and refresh and if you look over here at the copyright and you look down here at my ampersand copy with the semicolon that's what will create the copyright alright so I can see here that I didn't put the year which is something you should do so I'm gonna go for after the copy and I'm gonna put 2009 and then save and this should refresh alright now the other thing that you can do if you choose to is you can center this or you can leave it as it is and then you know uh, href an anchor um, such as mail to colon that will send this link to a mail an email and then your address askgriff at um, gmail.com for example and then say your name and then end your anchor all right, and then I can end my small and save. And if I refresh, my name will be down here. All right, now if I don't want it to be separated that far, I can go back into this and instead of the paragraph, I can end my paragraph down here. All right, now the problem with doing that just that way is I'm going to have my name on the same line. So I need to remember to go in and put a break. All right, so save and refresh. So now I have a basic web page that we can use to start, you know, really adding to. Okay, so I want to do a quick thing here now. I want to make a menu page, an events page, and a jobs page. So if I look back in here what these are linking to, I'm looking for index, okay, menu events and jobs.html so a quick way to do this is I'm gonna go ahead and just this is already saved as uh, index.html I'm gonna save it as menu.html and I will save it also as events.html and I will save it as jobs.html Alright, so what I should have now in my folder are index, menu, events, and jobs. So that if I actually run the page and refresh, I can click on home and that takes me to this page. Menu takes me to the menu page. Events takes me to the events page and jobs takes me to the jobs page. You can't see any difference at this point because they're all identical. So what we need to do is go in here and make some changes. So, for example, instead of Cup de Jour, we can say Cup de Jour Jobs. All right, and if I was to open the events in my notepad, it could be Cup de Jour Events. Close that one. Open my menu, the notepad, and it would be Cup de Jour Menu. All right, so if I go back here and refresh, I have home, menu, events, and jobs. Now, obviously, we don't need it this big and bold, but just for sake of argument, that's what we're doing. So each of those is a different page. So now what I can do is I can adjust these pages now without having to completely change everything. So for example, I can skip adding all of this stuff up here at the top. I can skip the headers. 
I can skip you know a lot of this stuff in here the footers and things like that and just work on what's inside the body so that should get you going and the next step will be to actually adjust some of our other pages thanks a lot